Looking for a camera that can capture 3D VR videos? We've been testing the Carfex Vizinci 3D VR 180 camera for the past few weeks, and we're ready to share what we found. This pocket-sized device shoots videos that you can watch in VR headsets, making your viewers feel like they're actually there. With its 8K resolution and wide-angle lenses, it promises to bring your memories to life in three dimensions. But how does it perform in real-world use? Is it worth the price? We took it out for shoots in different settings to find out if it lives up to the hype. Let's start with the unboxing. The Carfex Vizinci 3D VR 180 camera comes in a compact, well-designed package. Opening it up, the first thing you'll notice is the camera itself, which feels so lightweight. It has a sleek design, making it easy to carry around. Along with the camera, you'll find a Type-C to Type-C data cable for charging and data transfer. There's also a storage bag for protection, and of course, a manual to help you get started. Everything is neatly packed, keeping things simple and convenient for users who just want to start shooting right away. Right from the start, the Carfex Vicince impresses with its sleek and compact design. It measures just 126 mm by 80 mm by 24.5 mm and weighs around 300 grams, making it easy to carry in a bag or even a large pocket. Well, this camera build feels sturdy, and despite its lightweight body, it doesn't feel cheap. Its minimalist approach keeps things simple. Just a few buttons and a touchscreen on the back, giving it a clean and modern look. Its 3.5-inch touchscreen is responsive and bright enough to view outdoors, making navigation effortless. Plus, it has dual 180 degrees fisheye lenses that dominate the front, ensuring a full immersive field of view. Ports are neatly placed with two USB-C connectors, a headphone jack, and a micro SD card slot for expanded storage. However, there's no access to the battery, which might be a downside for some users. Still, the built-in 3600 milliampere hour battery provides solid performance. We were curious about how easy this VR camera would be to use, and honestly, it's pretty straightforward. When we first got it, we just long pressed the red button to turn it on and figured out the rest quickly. Swiping from the sides, brings up the menu where we could access our gallery or switch between shooting modes. The touch interface responded well during our testing, though sometimes we had to tap twice in bright sunlight. We appreciated not having to fiddle with manual settings. The camera handled exposure and white balance automatically, which saved us time when we were out shooting. There are only a few physical buttons, power, settings, and back, which kept things simple enough. Some of our team missed having more manual controls for specific shots, but for quick captures and everyday use, the streamlined approach worked well for us, even for those who hadn't used VR cameras before. We've heard from several users who want more control over the settings, and it's worth mentioning that the manufacturer has announced plans for a firmware update later this year that will add these customization options while keeping the interface beginner-friendly. Now, let's talk about what really matters, the visuals. The Carfex Vizinci records at 8K resolution at 30 frames per second, or you can choose 6K at 50 frames per second if you need smoother motion for fast-moving subjects. The jump from the previous model's 6K maximum is definitely noticeable when you look closely at the details. Those dual Sony IMX 577 sensors capture a decent amount of depth in your scenes. When you watch the footage back in a VR headset, there's a pretty convincing sense of being there. This camera handles depth perception well enough that objects really do seem to have volume and dimension. While marketing materials mention a beauty filter for enhancing skin tones, we should note that this feature isn't actually implemented in the current firmware. According to customer service, it's planned for release in a firmware update during the second half of this year. Color-wise, footage tends to have a cooler look with a slightly greenish tint compared to the previous CAF camera. The contrast is also higher, which gives you more vibrant footage straight out of the camera, but might limit your editing options later. This camera isn't just about video, it's built for versatility. Whether you're snapping photos, recording videos, or live streaming, it's got you covered. In photo mode, you get sharp and well-balanced stills with impressive depth making your VR 180 images feel more lifelike. Video mode gives you the flexibility to shoot in either 8K or 6K, 
so you can choose between higher resolution or smoother frame rates depending on your storage and editing needs. And if you're into live streaming, you can broadcast immersive VR 180 content straight to supported platforms, making it easy to connect with an audience in real time. For viewing, you have two options, fisheye mode, which delivers a raw, ultra-wide perspective, or ERP mode, which smooths out the image for a more polished 180 degrees VR experience. Having both options makes it easy to adapt to different creative needs. We've been quite impressed with the battery improvements on this new model. The built-in 3600 mAh battery gave us about two hours of recording time, which worked well for our day trips without needing to stop and recharge. We took it out for a full afternoon of shooting around the city and still had some juice left at the end of the day. One thing we really appreciated was being able to charge while filming. When we were setting up longer indoor shots, we just plugged in the USB-C cable and didn't have to worry about running out of power. This came in handy during our product demonstration videos that took longer than expected. As for storage, the 32 GB built-in memory is nice to have, but we found it fills up pretty quickly. We recorded about 20 minutes of 8K footage before needing more space. Adding a micro SD card is basically essential if you're planning to use this camera regularly. The camera does get a bit warm during extended recording sessions, especially when charging simultaneously, but nothing concerning. Overall, the battery held up better than we expected for such a compact device. We've been testing this camera for a couple of weeks now, and we're really happy with how smooth the recording experience is. There's almost no lag when we start shooting, which helps us capture spontaneous moments. The built-in gyroscope is a breakthrough for us. We took it hiking last weekend and got surprisingly stable footage, even on rocky trails. Our handheld walking shots look much better than we expected. The camera handles most lighting situations pretty well on its own. We shot in our backyard during golden hour, and the automatic settings captured beautiful warm tones without any adjustments needed. While we sometimes miss having manual controls, especially for tricky backlit scenes, the auto settings are reliable enough for most of our everyday shooting. The dynamic range is noticeably better than the previous model. We can see more details in both shadows and highlights in our nature videos. Audio is a crucial part of immersive content, and the Carfax Vizince does a decent job. The built-in microphones capture clear and natural sound, but they don't perform exceptionally well in noisy environments. We noticed the internal cooling fan sometimes affects audio quality during recording. It's apparently designed to prevent overheating and performance lag. We recommend connecting an external microphone, like Bluetooth, USB or wired, through the available ports for better sound quality, which will improve the audio significantly. Comparing this model to the first generation CAF camera reveals significant differences. The original was bulkier, targeted at professional users, and offered more manual controls. This newer model simplifies the process with fully automatic settings, making it more accessible for casual creators. In terms of image quality, the older model had a slightly desaturated look, allowing for greater flexibility in post-production. The new version, however, leans towards a punchier, contrast-heavy style straight out of the camera. The resolution jump to 8K is a welcome upgrade, making the visuals feel more lifelike. If you're a travel vlogger, social media creator, or someone looking to explore VR 180 content without dealing with complex settings, this camera is a great option. It's lightweight, easy to use, and produces high-quality footage without requiring extensive editing. On the other hand, if you prefer full manual control, multiple mounting options, or professional-level color grading flexibility, the first-generation model or other higher-end VR cameras might be a better fit. Overall, we've really enjoyed our time with the Carfax Vicince. After taking it on several outings, we're impressed by how easy it is to capture immersive moments. The 8K footage looks fantastic on our VR headset. It's almost like being back in those places again. What we appreciate most is how quickly we can go from idea to finished product. No fussing with complicated settings means we actually use it more often. For our needs, creating immersive memories and sharing VR experiences with friends, it's been an excellent companion. The simplicity and quality make this camera a joy to use in our everyday adventures. So that's all about the Caf X Vizins 3D VR 180. Let us know your thoughts. Would you use this camera for your content?
As for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.